Keeping with the trends of uh, kids dying, we got more, more, more kid deaths this episode. So that was a uh, that was fun, I guess, in a <laughs> I... sick masochistic <laughs> way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I feel kind of terrible because I didn't care at all. I was like, wait, wow. which two characters were they? Like, wow. I don't even know which ones they were. Like, oh man! <laughs> after they do the whole setup with you know the flashback to the scenes yeah. on the highway and and them bonding with each other, oof. Um, I, think I think this show me, suffers uh, from yeah, too many characters. Sorry, Justin. <laughs> go ahead. No, I, I, I think that's fair. Um, I was just going to say the part that I liked was the confirmation that uh, the brother's head was the one that was taken because, you know, they show yeah. up when he's younger to the battlefield and then he, you know, shows up to the one uh, mech and then you see his brother's body with literally just the head missing, ripped, ripped off. <laughs> so... I'm just so interested to see what the what the hell happened. Yeah, I'm just surprised. Like we actually saw like the two people like dying this episode. Like it seems. So I wonder like, like, like are we gonna like just eliminate all of the characters throughout this this season? Is that how that go? Like we're gonna get try to get like all oh, okay. At least for me and Justin, we're, we're gonna try to get attached to the characters and then just see them like slowly die off for the rest of the season. I, I think it's a safe bet because, I mean, even the way that they left this week's episode off, you know, now they're basically going to one of the, like, strongholds. And, mm-hmm. you know, both um, Lena's uncle and Shin both reiterate that, hey, like, this is pretty much a, a losing battle, but it needs to get done. Like, we're not giving them reinforcements. Just send them in there and do whatever damage they can. And so, you know, you're almost kind of heading towards your death. I think uh, we're going to definitely get some more deaths and probably uh, more information on what the hell is going on between Shin and his uh, his brother. brother. Yeah, I'm getting uh, really impatient with this show, actually. I'm not going to lie. I feel like there's like several uh, conversations that keep happening in each episode. I'm sick of hearing t- people old, tell that. I'm tired yeah. of Annette. I'm tired of Annette. I'm, tired of Annette. Annette. <laughs> like, I'm just, I'm, I get it. Like, I just feel like it's the same thing happening in every episode. And then just like a little bit more development with Shin. And that's it. Mm. Like, I'm ready for like something to happen rather than just, hey, the Legion's back in this episode. Let's kill off a couple more characters or, or character. Mm. Let's give you just enough of them to make you feel something. Have, you know, have Annette come in, say her usual crap, have the uncle say the usual crap, and then it ends with something somewhat meaningful between Shin and Lena. Like, I'm just getting really sick of that, of that formula. I just want something to happen that's meaningful. I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Good? <laughs> no, I think it does. Oh, that's, that's pretty fair. Yeah, the only thing I care for now at this point is figuring out what happened to Shin and his backstory and what the enemy is. Like, what are they really doing with these heads, you know? Yeah. Um. So that's something I really care for. Like yeah. Lena and like the uh, the Albas or whatever. Like I can give two shits about them and what their future holds, but I really want to know what Shin's story is, honestly. Yeah. So. Me too. Yeah, I do too. I want to. I want to see him have. I mean, I guess we know what his goal is. We we know what his goal is, but I guess mm-hmm. I just want to see some steps go towards that. I'm really confused, like what we're doing with all these extra characters. I can't remember which one of you guys said it, but you know, are we just going to be seeing all of them die by the end of the season and Shin's last man standing? Because I kind of wish we could have just skipped all of that and focused more on his story, if that's the case, you know? Yeah, yeah, that is true. Because they definitely don't give you enough airtime or like time to build like an emotional bond with the character. So it feels like it's it's kind of pointless to just kill him off one by one like that and have it yeah. be like important in a way or, or something like that. Yeah. They're definitely oh, yeah. trying to draw a response, but I think, like you said, there's not really been enough time to, like, really care for them. Mm-hmm. And they tried to do that this episode, you know, with that that bond on the highway and stuff. But, yeah, again, a five minute scene isn't going to, you know, make or break like, oh, my God, they killed, you know, my favorite or my second favorite character or whoever. Mm-hmm. Well, like, yeah. I could I couldn't even tell you their names. If you gave me a quiz and said, hey, name like five of them, I couldn't do it. Oh, God, right. Yeah, I know Gunslinger and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, yeah, yeah. Uh, at least for me, it's like I'm. Yeah, I want more of the lore. So like, so like, yeah. I wish I got more of that because I want so more about the lore between with like the the two factions, like like the Republic and the Empire. And it seems like we're just gonna go. In, it's gonna be very character based for the show. So so then I then then I agree with you guys. Yeah, I wish it go more in the Shins story. Cause like I'm all over I'm over the place for this the show just like how it is. Yeah. Uh, but I I'll think next week's for... episode would definitely ramp up though, like in terms of excitement and what we are looking for uh, as a viewer. So hopefully they they pull through with that. 
I think that's gonna be it for this with 86. Nothing else much you can say. Dude, I so. feel so bad because I was telling you, Lisa, that you know, just keep giving it a try because it does ramp up, and now we're just we have nothing to talk about, <laughs> and it's like maybe I shouldn't rec- have recommended it to the guy. Well, but I, I feel like the end is definitely going to be a big payoff. I feel like the payoff is there. That's that's the feeling I'm getting from it. Well, I watched the uh, I, I didn't watch this episode, but I watched last week's actually. I caught up to that one, and yeah. it's just like they had like a giant drop of like what was going on, and it sounds yeah. like. I don't know how this one ended. This episode sounded. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really dumb. Like, like in all honesty, the only thing that I've cared about in these last two weeks' episodes is just like the last five minutes, in a sense, right? Oh. And even this week's episode is it was just more of a, oh, let's try to push the whole like like shipping of Lena and Shin together or something like that. Uh, or I guess if the that little heart thing on a chocolate bar meant anything, yeah. I don't I don't know. But uh, yeah, it, it just it feels like. There's really not much going on, and uh, hopefully in the the next couple episodes they'll just get to like the meat and potatoes of the story. Did they so. uh, did uh, MC's like best friend in a sense uh, step in in this episode again for and say like you shouldn't be hanging around them or you shouldn't be talking to them like she does every episode? No, in all no, honesty, this, every this time, time they it talk, was the uncle. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was uncle. But oh every time God. the uncle or her best oh friend talks, God. like I just like. <laughs> like do- those off because yeah. like it's going to be the yeah. same shit every time and it's just not important like i don't feel like it, there's never been any time where that's been of important uh like a value to the story so 